Hey guys, Video Fort Colin here, and today we're going to be going over how to do green screen effects and keying on Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull my footage from the project panel, and I'm going to put it into my timeline. And that is the footage I need to key because it's the one with the green background. So the first step is I need to isolate exactly what I need to remove the background from. So I'm going to crop it by going to my effects controls. Under that, I'm going to scale it so I just have him and the green screen in the frame and none of that stuff on the sides. So now I need to decide what I want the background replacement to be instead of the green. So in this case, I'm going to use a just a JPEG file, a picture of a black stage with lights, and I want that to be uh, where the green is so it looks like he is standing on the stage. Now in order to remove the green background from our clip, we need to key it. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to our effects, we're going to type in key, there we go, and I'm going to click ultra key and drop it right onto my video. Now you can begin to edit that key and create that key under the effects control panel as long as that clip is highlighted now that it has that new effect on it. So once you're at the effects control panel, the first thing you want to do is you need to make sure the computer understands what color you're trying to remove. On the left, you'll see a box that's black, and when you click that, it's going to bring up your color picker, which is where you can select any different standard colors and try to match it to the color you would like to be replaced. The second and perhaps more accurate way to pick your key color is by clicking the little eyedropper tab just to the right of the color picker. And once you click that, you can run your cursor over any color you want and it's going to use that as the sample color. You can see the lights from the stage are starting to peer through behind him. So next thing I'm going to do is go to my settings tab and right now it's set on default and I'm going to click that to aggressive and you're definitely going to see a big change in your clip. But we're definitely not there yet. There's a lot of green still left and it's not a clear picture. So the next step is to get rid of that green. And How do we do that? Well, first thing you want to do is go to your matte generation tab and you want to start cleaning it up. The way you do that is you can go down to tolerance and put that all the way to 100%. Now, in case there's any shadows on your object or your green screen, you want to make sure that the software is sensitive to that by going to your shadows tab and scrolling that either way. Now, in this case, I've taken my shadows tab all the way down to zero, which is usually good, but in this case, because he's wearing a black shirt, it's begun to pixelate his shirt, which we obviously do not want. So we can fix that by just bumping up the shadows back and finding the sweet spot between his pixelation and a full background. Now a way to get better definition for your object is by going to Matte Cleanup, and under that you'll see the Choke option, which you can scroll back and forth. You can scroll the Choke option back and forth, and that will thicken or thin that small uh, layer and outline around your object making it a very clean key where there's a clear definition between your object and the green screen behind him.